Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. That historic phrase, uttered nearly two years before the wall came down, almost ended up on history's cutting room floor. They were afraid that challenging Gorbachev by name would in some way or another be too provocative. In 1987, Peter Robinson was a 30-year-old speechwriter for President Reagan and says at the time, there was a fierce debate within the administration about that now famous phrase. The entire foreign policy apparatus, the diplomat in Berlin, the State Department, the National Security Council, the chief of staff, Howard Baker himself, did, said that he objected to the line. It didn't sound presidential. But Reagan liked the phrase, and so it stayed. In the two decades since the fall of the Berlin Wall, the now famous speech has come to seem less provocative and more prophetic. Tear down that wall was a statement that went beyond the wall itself and meant your system must change, so change it. George Schultz was Secretary of State during much of the Reagan administration and was intensely engaged in the day-to-day -day struggle of the Cold War. The Berlin Wall symbolized the Iron Curtain between East and West. Ed Meese, one of Reagan's closest aides, says the president saw the speech as a tremendous opportunity. He was always concerned about giving hope to the people of the captive nations, and he felt that's why tearing down the wall was symbolic, not only in his speech, but in terms of how it would affect people in all of those countries which were being oppressed by the Soviet Union. For we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty, the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. He understood that communism and communist imperialism was on the wane. Uh, but again, I'm not sure that he expected that it would come to a conclusion quite as quickly as it did. When the Berlin Wall did come down in November of 1989, Ronald Reagan had already left office. Today, historians debate the role the 87 speech played in ending the Cold War, but there is little doubt that Reagan played an important role, and the destruction of the wall is a powerful symbol marking the end of a dangerous political era. In Washington, Lauren Rogers reporting. Thank you very much.